In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you can create and sell your first digital product using ChatGPT. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process step-by-step. -step. I'm gonna leave no stone uncovered so that you can actually create something that you can sell. So make sure you watch this entire video if you wanna learn how to create and sell your first digital product. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. All right, so as I mentioned, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna walk through the entire process of creating and selling digital products using ChatGPT. We're gonna go through everything. You guys know how I feel about digital products, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, if you take a look at my screen here, this is the basic process to going from nothing to your first digital product. We need to identify niche, product ideas, a sales funnel, create the product, market the product, and then do email marketing really to sell it. And so we're gonna use ChatGPT to take care of all of this for us. So the first thing that we wanna do is we want to head over to ChatGPT and enter in a prompt. For example, answer questions as an expert digital marketer and web copywriter. The next thing that we wanna do is we want to write down, create a list of the best niches for digital products. Now, any niche can work for digital products, but I just wanna show you if you have no idea where to start, it's gonna give us a few ideas. So health and wellness, personal development, finance and investing, business entrepreneurship, technology and software, arts and crafts, beauty and fashion. So let's do arts and crafts because I don't think enough people are talking about arts and crafts. So our niche, as you can see over here, is arts and crafts. So if I just add this in, we'll, we'll say arts and crafts. The next thing that we wanna do is we want to have ChatGPT to come up with a few product ideas. Uh, create a list of product ideas for the arts and craft niche. Okay, now full disclosure, I know nothing about arts and crafts, so we're going to learn a little bit together, but you can see how powerful this is, where it's actually gonna do a lot of the work for us. So you can see DIY arts and crafts kits, crafting tutorials, printable art, craft patterns, craft supplies, art classes, DIY home decor. Now, if we look at craft patterns, I actually did a video last week or two weeks ago at this point where I showed you how to use something like Mid Journey to create digital patterns. And we're gonna actually use that as our basis. So we're gonna create printable art, okay? So our sub niche is going to be digital art. All right, so if we come back over here, we're going to say something like, uh, create a list of products to sell in the digital art niche. And so what we're gonna do, and this is actually going to move into our sales funnel, we wanna create an initial product, so our front end product. We also wanna look at an order bump and then potentially an upsell. The best way to make money with digital products is usually not on that front end product because we're gonna sell that fairly cheap, maybe between five and $10 but really we can make up our money on the back end selling more of what they're interested in. So if we go back over to ChatGPT, you can see wall art, greeting cards, calendars, coloring pages, planners, invitations, postcards. Let's do coloring pages. So we're gonna copy coloring pages and we're going to say something like, give me ideas for coloring pages. Now what we can do is we can actually come up with adult coloring pages, that would be our niche. So animals, nature, uh, characters, inspirational quotes, coloring pages, that might be weird, patterns, holiday. So let's do animals. I think that's gonna be really cool. And our, if we come back over here, we are going to printable art slash animal coloring pages. So now that we have that taken care of, let's go ahead and create a couple products. So we're gonna come over to Mid Journey, which is a product that I talked about a few weeks ago that allows us to create digital or AI art really, really quickly. So if we come over here, we're going to type in image. Now, uh, Mid Journey has a free version and a paid version. Right now I'm using a paid version, but we can say adult coloring book, uh, we'll say bear in force. And we're gonna hit enter. Now this does take about a minute or so to key up. And so what we're going to do is, is we're going to come up with maybe, let's say 10 pages that we can package up and sell. So our front end offer, if we look at this, I'm gonna, while that's working, we're gonna have a, a front end offer. Then we're going to have an order bump, order bump like this. And then we can have a back end offer like this. So our front end offer, we'll sell it between 
uh, five and ten dollars. I'm sure you guys have seen this. If you've ever looked on Facebook ads, you've seen a front end offer that's like five and ten dollars. We can sell the order bump for anywhere between ten and twenty dollars, and then our back end offer can be anywhere between, we'll say, you know, twenty and fifty bucks, twenty and ninety bucks. So, uh, twenty and ninety ninety dollars. All right. And so now that we've got that, we just need to hop back over to Midjourney to see what it has given us. So if we look at Midjourney, now take a look at these. All right, so I'm gonna uh, open these up so that we can get a better look. I like the black and white. On my next iteration, I might say black and white so that it's clear. But if we look at this, this is a pretty good picture that, that we could package up and sell. Okay, so what we could do is we could create like a 10 page coloring book with different animals. And what we need to do here is we need to click on this, right click, save image as it is going to save. Now what we could do is we could open up something like Canva and we could do something like um, a A4 or a nine and eight and a half by 11 standard size paper and, and make sure that it fits the entire screen. So let's do A4 document like this and we are going to drag that over there. And then we're actually going to just Make sure that it covers as much as the page as possible. Okay, so that is going to be number one. We are simply, we would simply do this a few more times with a different animal. I need to first do image, image, and then we'll say um, eagle, eagle on tree, black and white. All right, so while that's working, what we would do is we would add as many pages as we need. So we're gonna do a 10 page adult coloring book. And the other thing we could do too, is we could actually create a cover using Mid Journey as well. So once this is done working, we could ask to put a, a cover. Okay, so I'm not in love with these. It looks like they're actually gonna be not in, in color. I didn't give it good enough directions. As you can see with this first one here, I said adult coloring book bear in forest. I need to make sure that I specify adult coloring book, eagle on tree. Okay, so let's do that, adult coloring book. So remember, when it comes to AI and technology, the information that you give it is going to be what it outputs. So if you give it poor information, it's going to output poor information. So adult coloring, eagle, I should have put book, adult coloring book, eagle on tree, black and white. So while that's working, we could go back over to Canva and we could actually come back up here and we could put in, we could add in a title, adult coloring pages, 10 pages, whatever it is. So um, again, that's gonna be working. And what we could do while all of this is working in the background, come back over to ChatGPT and just give it some information. Let's say our front end product is a 10 page adult coloring book of animals in the forest. So let's go back over to Mid Journey. Not great, but once again, I gave it poor information. Let's do adult coloring page eagle on tree. And then we'll leave all black and white. Let's copy this, give it better information once again, paste that in, and let's see if it gives us information. So we can come back over here. Uh, digital wallpaper pack, forest themed stickers, craft, DIY craft kit, nature sounds album, or an ebook. So this is interesting. Um, so we could look at each one of these and say, okay, what would make the most sense? Because with an order bump, we want to sell something that makes the most sense. Now we could maybe, we could put together an ebook. We could put together maybe a mini course showing them how to create their own adult coloring books, things of that nature. Okay, well, let's go back over to this. Okay, so this actually looks a little bit better. It's not great. I'm not in love with what I'm seeing. So sometimes you, you do have to play with it a little bit. I'd say adult coloring book. Eagle. With the bear, the bears actually turned out really nice. As you can see with the eagle, it looks like it's struggling with it just a little bit. Like this one right here could be okay. It, this one might work, but I'm looking something more lines of this bear. I think this bear actually turned out really well. Um, adult coloring book bear and forest. Okay, so let's see what it gives us this time. While that's working, we have an idea for our order bump. Our order bump could be a, a mini course on how to create your own coloring books. Um, so we could say front end offer, we could do 10 page coloring book like that. Our order bump could be a mini course on how to do it. 
on creating books, we'll say. And then we need to think of a back-end offer. So we're going to come back over to ChatGPT and ask, um, list upsell opportunities and see what pops up. A larger calling book, so we could do like a 20, 30, 40 pages. Um, another bump idea we could come up with are coloring pages in a different niche. Or maybe we do like add 10 more bears or something like that. That might work. But if we come back over here, um, a larger coloring book, digital coloring book bundle. I really like this. So we could actually do a bundle of three different types, three different niches. So we've got animals taken care of. We could do something like, you know, children playing in a playground. We could do something like basketball or we could focus on individual animals. So we've got bears, we could do snakes, we could do lions, we could do tigers and so on. But you can see that it actually comes up with a pretty good list. So uh, if we head back over to mid journey, let's see, uh, this one actually works out pretty well. So I would, I would go with this one. I don't really love the dark there, but this one could work. So great, we've got that. Now that we have our backend offer, our backend offer is going to be a coloring book bundle like that. Now we need to create a sales, actually the sales pages for our front end offer and so on. So we've actually, we've created the product while we were working on this other stuff. We need to create the sales funnel. So we're gonna come back over to ChatGPT and we're going to say something like, we're gonna say, create a sales funnel outline for our front and offer, uh, which is 10 page adult coloring book of, we'll say bears, let's do bears. What we need to create is we actually need to create the sales page. And so what we're gonna do is say, first we want to come up with a list of 10 names for our coloring book. All right, so here's some names. The Bear Necessities, Grin and Bear, I don't like that one. Wild About Bears, Bear Hugs. So, okay, so these names aren't terrible. Let's use Wild About Bears, okay? And then we're just going to tell, we're gonna tell ChatGPT our product name is Wild About Bears. All right, so when we told it that our product name was Wild About Bears, it actually came up with some other opportunities. So one thing that we could do, a nice little order bump might be wall art. That's an interesting thing that we could do. Um, or that could even be an upsell. I really like, I like that either way. Uh, maybe uh, creating like a, a puzzle or something. Um, so as you can see, simply using ChatGPT, it's going to give you a lot of ideas that you're going to have to go out and implement. Let's do image bear sitting under tree eating honey. All right, so while that is working, what we need to do is we need to use ChatGPT to actually help us create the sales page. So we're gonna do create outline for the sales page, create an outline for Wild About Bears. Now we need to give it our target market is women over 60 that want to spend their free time coloring animals. So when you give it more information, it's gonna give you better information. Now, as I say all the time when it comes to ChatGPT, use it as a tool. Don't use it as your entire marketing, okay? Because if you use it for your entire marketing, it's not gonna feel authentic, it's gonna feel just kind of bland. And so as you can see here, it put together a nice little headline. And so basically what we would need to do is we would need to say, um, write 10 headline example. And so basically what we would do is we'd ask ChatGPT to fill this in. You need to put this landing page into a sales funnel software. You can use ClickFunnels, that's what I use. You can use WordPress. You can even use something like Gumroad if you wanted to, if you want to try this completely for free. It doesn't really matter. What's important is that you go through and you fill this out. Make sure that the information is relevant. For example, testimonials. We don't have any testimonials, so don't put any testimonials that you don't have. And make sure that it feels authentic. Use this as a tool and not as your entire copywriter. So we have the sales funnel. We've got all of this. Okay, so this is actually not bad wall art at all. This is this is not bad wall art at all. That's actually really good. <laughs> uh, what we could do is we could say something like write an order bump for our wall, our product, which is wall art of a bear eating 
honey under a tree. As you can see, it creates that little order bump for us. That's actually a pretty good length. If you wanna do upsells, you're gonna to have to use something like ClickFunnels, Kartra, Kajabi, something like that. I don't think you can do upsells using Gumroad, but the, you can see here, this works out really well. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing for your upsell. You're gonna ask ChatGPT to come up with an outline for your upsell, give your upsell a name. Remember, our upsell was the coloring book bundle. Then we've actually created the product. Next, we need to market the product. So what we'd wanna do is come back over to ChatGPT and say, list the best ways to market market our product. And I forgot the product name, it is Wild About Bears. And it's gonna give us a list of ways. Now, if you're looking to do this as quickly as possible, you're gonna to wanna to use social media. If you're looking to do this really fast, you're gonna to wanna to use paid advertising. Use something like Facebook, ads would probably work out the best because that's where the target market is. But if you wanted to build up a community and a following, you could use TikTok, you could use YouTube Shorts. And we're going to ask ChatGPT to uh, list content ideas for uh, promoting our product on TikTok. But as you see, that ChatGPT can help you come up with everything that you need to know and everything that you need to do. I actually really like this time lapse. So what you could do is you could print out your book here and you could actually do a time lapse of you or somebody else coloring in this page. But I think that would actually work out really well. But if we look at this, it actually does, it, it actually, it, this actually could be a pretty good opportunity. So we've got market the product and then the final step would be email marketing. We could say list, lead magnet ideas for wild about bears and it's going to come up with um, a free we can actually give away free coloring page um, coloring tips and tricks guide that's interesting um, we could probably even give away a few pictures or images of different animals, but you can see it actually, this actually works out really well. And then the final component is email marketing. We could say create a seven day email sequence for Wild About Bears. And then as you can see, it comes out with a seven day sequence. Now, once again, you wanna make sure that this is not doing all the work for you. Read through it, make sure that it makes sense. Make sure that it's coherent. Make sure this actually would connect with your target audience because this can work if you don't let it do all of the work for you. Okay, so I think this is a really, really cool way to get up and running. But you can see here that some of these emails are pretty good. If we look, um, benefits of coloring, the therapeutic benefits of coloring is a nice subject line. Um, introducing Wild About Bears, the ultimate coloring book for animal enthusiasts. That's actually a pretty good headline as well. Um, but you could do this starting for free. Now, you're going to have to put in some time, energy, and effort to be successful. Now, if you're looking to accelerate this process and have digital products done for you, I recommend that you click the second link in the description. It's called PLR Repository, where we have over 30 digital products that are already done for you that you can just download and you can sell them on Etsy, Gumroad, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you're hanging out. You can download those products and then you can sell them right away. In addition, we upload five new digital products every single month. And as a member of PLR Repository, you'll actually have access to those new products for forever for a lifetime. So if you want to sell digital products and you don't want to put in this work, go ahead and click the second link in the description and get access to our PLR repository. Watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business.